our souls at peace? Are our loved ones on the other side happy? Are our loved ones on the other side feeling peace? That is the number one question, right? That is, that's the big question. The answer is, of course, yes, yes, yes. Big capitalized yes exclamation point into eternity, yes. Your loved ones in spirit are absolutely absolutely feeling feeling bliss and feeling peace so to elaborate on this the basis that you have to understand with this is you are a soul driving a human body like a vehicle and part of that human body is the human brain right part of the human psyche is the human ego okay when we transition back to spirit, we shed everything human. We shed the human brain. We shed everything to do with that human brain, be it our biochemical um, issues, be it, you know, our mental health issues, any substance issues. We, you know, things that were plaguing us um, mental wise, things that were plaguing us biologically, things that were plaguing us chemically. We, we shed everything about our human existence, this vehicle that we were driving, so to speak. We shed that and we return to pure soul form, pure soul form. We return to the form that we were in when we came in to this human being, to this human body, to this vehicle, if you will. We return back to purity. We shed our ego. Okay, and our ego is what gives us sadness, anger, fear, jealousy. Our ego is even responsible for grief. Essentially, if you think about it, us humans need ego, right? We need ego not only to learn and grow while we're here, which is essentially kind of the point of our humanity, but we need ego for survival. We need ego for physical survival. We need ego, you know, we need to know enough to, you know, to fear. We need to know enough, you know, to feel certain negative, you know, emotions or negative, um, you know, knowings or feelings, right? When we shed our human body, we not only no longer have those needs, but we no longer have those experiences because the human ego leaves with our humanity. The human ego is attached to the human brain, is attached to the human consciousness, is attached to the human body. Only the soul consciousness remains. Okay, so we need to understand that basis in order to understand why and how our loved ones on the other side are at peace. Okay, so that brings us to the next question that a lot of people ask. A lot of people ask, I am so deeply grieving. I am so sad. Everybody here is so sad. We're hurting. We're missing them so much. How can they possibly be at peace when they see that? How can they possibly be at peace knowing not only how much we're grieving them, but how can they be at peace knowing the state of the world? How can they possibly be at peace knowing all of what's going on here? The answer really is quite simple. If you're willing to take a step back, from that, take a step back from having your nose so close up to the mirror of the situation. Take a step back and think about a big picture. Your loved one, as we all are, are a part of higher consciousness. And now that they're no longer in human form, they're no longer blocking that full access to human consciousness, which we all have, but our humanity blocks it, or we allow our humanity to block it, right? Um, now that they no longer have that humanity aspect to them, they have full access to everything, okay? Full access to all that is. That means that they see the bigger picture. They see the bigger picture of everything. Right down to your journey. Right down to you, their loved one's journey. I'm not saying that they know your future. That's, I'm not saying that at all. The future is fluid. I'm saying that in your grief, 
while they, they have empathy for you, they understand and empathize with your sadness and your grief, they also can see how that sadness and grief is fitting into your larger picture of growth as a soul on this earth plane. I'm not saying that their passing was necessary, was a necessary step for you. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is what you are currently going through, obviously is currently a step as you are currently going through it. And they can see what comes out the other side in terms of growth and healing. That is what I'm saying. And they take it even levels higher, levels higher, levels higher than I do. They see you from a macro level view, a higher conscious level view than you do. Okay, that and that's why I said you need to be willing to take things a few steps back and look at them big picture. That is how they are viewing what's going on here. They empathize with you. They love you. They feel sorry for you. But they also understand that it's a necessary part of your journey. And they understand how and why it's playing into your journey at this moment. And they, they understand how and why things from your past are causing you to feel how you're feeling now. Even things beyond just their passing. All other things from your past are playing into it, right? And what's coming out the other side in terms of your soul growth, your soul healing. That is also how they can feel peace overall. Even just kind of looking at the world, you, you, you would think or people, people would say, you know, look at the chaos in the world. Look at all of the, you know, the infighting and the, you know, the, the death and the destruction and the, the wars and everything going on. How can, you know, people in the spirit world or souls in the spirit world feel peace looking at that? It's not that they feel peaceful about it. It's that they feel peace and they look at what's going on in the world and they understand why it's going on. Think of it, think of the world like a giant, 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 giant jigsaw puzzle. And everything else, everything that's going on is its own little jigsaw puzzle. And everything can be broken down into even smaller jigsaw puzzles and smaller jigsaw puzzles. And every jigsaw puzzle has its own little pieces. They can see all of that right down to each individual piece, each individual soul. Okay, that's what higher consciousness is. And they are a part of higher consciousness. And they not only understand the bigger picture, but they understand you and they love you and they feel feel nothing but peace as they look down on what's going on here because they don't worry. They don't worry. They know what's on the other side of it all. They're feeling it. They're experiencing it. They know it. And it's nothing but peace and love. If you made it this far and you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Until next time, much love.